Yuna, what are two other numbers that we can add to get seven? Hmm, I know that one. Hi, I'm Yuna, the unicorn. Come learn along with me and Super Teacher. Super Teacher! Good afternoon, Yuna. I'm excited to see you today. All of our math problems will be about different types of animals, and Nugget will do a trick when we find her favorite. Let's jump in. There are two dogs at the park. And there are three cats as well. So the total number of animals is 2 plus 3. To figure out 2 plus 3, we can count all of the animals. Yuna, what is 2 plus 3? Tap the microphone button when you're ready to answer. Um, is it 6? You're so close. Let's try again. Yuna, what is 2 plus 3? Take your time. 5. The answer is 5. Fantastic! So there are 5 animals in total. Nugget, were cats and dogs your favorite animals? No worries, we can keep trying. Our next story problem takes place in a pond. There are 3 frogs on one lily pad and three frogs on another lily pad. So the total number of frogs is three plus three. To figure out three plus three, we can count the frogs. Yuna, what is three plus three? Take your time. Um, is it eight? Three plus three is six. This means that there are six frogs altogether. Congratulations. You've earned the Frog Award for adding with frogs. Hooray! Nugget, how about the frogs? Are they your faves? Let's try something else then. Our next story problem takes place at a birthday party. Let's see what fun things there are at the party. There are six small balloon animals. Oh, and look! There's one big balloon animal too. Wow! I bet the person with the birthday gets the big balloon animal. Yay! So the total number of balloon animals is 6 plus 1. To figure out 6 plus 1, we can count the balloon animals. Yuna, do you know what 6 plus 1 equals? I think it's 7. Wonderful! So there are 7 balloon animals altogether. That sounds like a fun party. <laughs> Yuna, have you ever had a balloon animal before? Yeah, I had a dog one, and it was so wiggly. Awesome! I like balloon animals, so I have a fun surprise for you. It's a balloon animal dog, but it does cartwheels. Our next story problem takes place in a bedroom. Let's take a look. There are five little teddy bears on the bed, but also two big teddy bears standing by the window. Wow! So the total number of teddy bears is five plus two. To figure out five plus two, we can count the teddy bears. Yuna, do you know what five plus two equals? Take your time. I know that one. It's seven. Fantastic! So there are seven teddy bears in total. Aww. Congratulations! You've earned the Teddy Bear Award for adding with teddy bears. Hooray! I want to point out something interesting. We just saw that 5 plus 2 equals 7, but we also saw that 6 plus 1 equals 7. So that's two different ways to add numbers and get a total of seven. Six plus one, or five plus two. Whoa. But there are other numbers we can add together to get seven. I wonder if you can come up with some. Yuna, what are two other numbers that we can add to get seven? Take your time. Hmm, how about four and three? Wonderful. You're adding some big numbers, Yuna. I'm very proud of you. <coughs> Nugget, I'm curious. Are teddy bears your favorite animals? <coughs> That's okay, we can keep trying. 
Our next story problems take place on Safari. But this time, I want to see if you can do addition problems without the pictures. Yuna, can you use your imagination today? Yeah, I can imagine lots of animals. Excellent! Two monkeys were hanging out. And then two more monkeys joined them. We can add 2 plus 2 to find the total number of monkeys. Yuna, do you know what 2 plus 2 is? Take your time. Um, is it 4? Fantastic! So there are 4 monkeys in total. Nugget, how about the monkeys? Yuna, I'll need your help with a few more so that we can find Nugget's favorite animals. Four snakes were slithering in the grass. And then two more snakes joined them. We can add 4 plus 2 to find the total number of snakes. Yuna, do you know what 4 plus 2 is? Take your time. I think it's 6. Splendid. So there are 6 snakes altogether. What about the snake's nugget? Do you like how they slither? Okay, I've got one more idea. This one involves dinosaurs, so you really need to use your imagination. There were four dinosaurs having a party. And then three more joined them. To find the total number of dinosaurs, we need to add four plus three. Yuna, do you know what four plus three is? Take your time. Seven. It's seven. Terrific. That means there's seven dinosaurs at the party. Nugget, were the dinosaurs your favorite animals? Amazing! I'm so glad we solved that mystery. Congratulations! You've earned the Dinosaur Award for finding Nugget's favorite animal. Yuna, you did a really great job at using your imagination today. I'm really proud of you. Remember, you'll have some practice pages you can work on later. Just nicely ask someone at home to print them for you. The next lesson is called Addition Up to 8. We'll do story problems involving ninjas and pirates. I'm looking forward to doing more adding with you soon. Take care, Yuna. Thank you for learning along with me. You can take this super teacher lesson yourself, or hundreds of other lessons in reading, math, and more. Here's one of my other friends doing a super teacher lesson all on their own. That's funny. Two, stop dancing and get back here. Lily, where is the two supposed to go? Under the five and the seven. What was so funny? The two is dancing on the side of the one's column. Check out superteacherapp.com or download the app to get started yourself. Like and subscribe to the Super Teacher channel so you can watch more lessons with me. Can't wait to learn more together.